the right to zen AppSumo lifetime deal is back on if you missed this the first time now is your chance to get your hands on the most innovative seo tool for a one-time cost. In this video, I'll show you how Right Design works. I'll show you the entire workflow using a real example so that you can decide whether Right Design is for you. Now, I reviewed Right Design back in 2021 when they first launched in AppSumo. Back then, I invested in the tool myself and the tool has been evolving at a staggering pace ever since. This is one of the best tools I've ever reviewed and my prediction is that WriterZen will become one of the best known SEO tools on the market. It now integrates with Google and NLP. It has AI. It has WriterZen's very own unique golden filter, helping you find easy to rank for keywords that have search volume. And much more is coming. But this is a rare opportunity. Right to Zen is back on AppSumo by popular demand. Too many people missed out on this deal the first time around. Right to Zen is a subscription tool. So this is probably your last chance to get in for life for a single payment. Personally, I recommend you grab the tool right now. You have a 60 day refund window. That's a lot of time. You only need one hour to test this tool and even I can find one hour in 60 days. Ask me anything you want in the comments if you're on the fence about this tool or if you have any questions that I don't cover in the tutorial that you're about to watch. You'll find links to everything in the description below this video. So let me show you how Writer Zen works. Open up the topic discovery tool. Let's say we're starting a blog about intermittent fasting. Type in your root keyword, in this case, intermittent fasting. Choose your location and language and hit search. Writer Zen has identified 71 topics organized by relevancy that relate to intermittent fasting. You can order these by search volume and you can set the relevancy to wide if you want to broaden your scope or close if you want to narrow it. Let's take a moment to understand what just happened. To create a topic map for your SEO campaign, you need to study your competitors, let's say the top 100. You need to go through each and every page and note down what topics those pages are discussing. Then cross-reference all the topics in all the pages and order them by how many times they appear. Put another way, if metabolism is a topic that appears the most in the top 100, then that's probably a topic that you should cover if you want to be an expert in exercise and we know this because those pages are already ranking and that means that google finds them relevant now you know the secret rinse and repeat until you think you've covered all the relevant topics oh yeah and put aside a few days to do this or maybe weeks and try not to lose your mind topic clustering as this is known is the most horrible time sucking process in seo and frankly many people don't do this and frankly that's why they don't rank well right as then does all this for you in just seconds. Just click a button and it's done. All the topics you need to include in your SEO campaign, hand it over to you. Export them with another click and you have your topic map ready to go. I like to scroll down and manually pick out the topics I want to add to my topic map. Clicking on show ideas shows you the topic results for a topic. You'll see the top ranking headlines and their relevancy. And you can see the top headlines under each topic to quickly decide whether this is a topic you want to cover. If you click a topic, you'll notice that you also have Google Suggest Insights. This is a great place to gather questions for each of your topics in your topic cluster. Click on the plus sign to add questions to a list. Create a new list if you need to, call it the same as the topic and keep adding questions that are going to help you demonstrate expertise. You can also explore related Google searches under that. These are particularly relevant as this is user data straight from Google. Topic clustering has never been so easy, but don't let that fool you. Topical authority is the difference between top rankings that last and failure. And as you've just seen, Writer Zen gives you the topic map for any subject in just one click. And now that we have our topic map, we're ready for keyword research. In the keyword discovery screen, type the topic you want to target as your keyword. In this case, I'm going to type intermittent fasting as my keyword. Set the location and language and ignore for now the golden filter and cluster function. We'll get to those later. Hit search and wait for the results. In the bottom window, you'll see the keyword data showing you trends, search volume and word count, among other things. And in case you're wondering, Writer Zen gets its keyword data straight from Google's API. It doesn't use its own proprietary algorithm and a gazillion data points like some tools do. It just gets it from Google. You can see there are almost 5,000 results and that's a total combined search 
search volume of over two and a half a million searches. You also have a SERP view window where you can see the top competing pages and a handy bunch of metrics such as backlinks and referring domains. In my original Writer's End review, I talked about the thought and attention to detail that's gone into the brilliant design behind each section. There's a lot of data here, but the presentation, the design makes it all very intuitive and it doesn't interrupt your flow. So let's scroll back down to our keyword data and let me show you why this tool is so brilliant and unique. Let's start with the filters. You can include and exclude any word you like to filter out keywords you don't want to target. For example, you might want to exclude the words free, PDF and download from your results. You can also filter volumes. For example, you may want to avoid keywords with very little search volume. Count enables you to filter out keyword phrases by number of words. Generally, single word keywords are going to be much harder to rank for than longer phrases. You can also click on a keyword and access all the relevant metrics from keyword difficulty through to the last 12 months worth of search volume data broken down month by month. This is great data. It lets you know very quickly whether a keyword is in decline. The last thing you want to do is spend a lot of time and effort on a keyword that's actually trending down. Click and add any keywords you want to target to a list or a group of keywords. What you've seen so far in video one and this video should have you convinced by now that this is the only SEO tool you need. And we're just getting started. Watch this. WriterZen has a very unique feature called Golden Filter. Click the Golden Filter button and WriterZen will display the all in title results and WriterZen's golden score. All in title is a Google search operator you can apply to any search to actually see how many pages actually have your keyword in the title. That's really a true measure of how many real competitors you actually have. With this feature on, I can click all in title and filter out the number of competitors by any criteria I choose. Let's find out what keywords have only a maximum of nine direct competitors. You can see here that there is only one page that contains the keyword intermittent fasting rules in the title. And there are 5,400 searches per month for this keyword. This is powerful. You can see that there are over 1,000 keywords that have no more than nine competing pages with the keyword in the title. That's 300,000 searches per month for all those keywords combined. Intermittent fasting and coffee has zero results and 880 searches per month. Now, these keywords are a perfect starting point for a website that has little to no authority on this topic because you're not really going to rank anytime soon for more competitive keywords for this topic. Now, if you do have some authority, you may want to target more competitive keywords. But how do you know where the cutoff point is? That's where the golden filter comes in. This powerhouse of a feature enables you to very quickly sort out through thousands of keywords into one of four groups, which writers end defines as decay zone, mature zone, opportunity zone, and candy land zone. These four zones show you which keywords you should target and which keywords you should avoid, depending on how much authority your site has. Make no mistake, this is pure gold. In Writer's End, click Golden Score and set the results you want to see by ranking probability or by value. If you're starting out with little or no authority, I suggest you rank by probability. Use the SERPs position slider to set the all in title results. If I move it to one, I can see in real time the number of keywords that have a maximum of one result. These are the keywords you can rank for faster and with the most ease. This is the opportunity zone. If I move the slider to 10, I can see the numbers change for a total search volume of over 290,000. And these keywords are still relatively easy to rank for. If your site already has topical authority or you're more confident in your ability, you can switch to ranking by value. Here you'll see more competitive keywords that have a greater search volume. These are mature zone keywords that you will eventually need to target, not necessarily to rank for in the short term, but to show Google your expertise. There is a lot more cool stuff in this dashboard like insights, which helps you group keywords into a specific mindset with more filtering options like propositions and comparisons and the clustering function for the more savvy SEOs. To keep things simple, let me show you how to use the golden filter in practical terms. Rank by probability, set the slider to one and hit apply. These are the low hanging fruit or the opportunity zone keywords. Select all and export to an Excel sheet if you prefer to work that way or add to a keyword list that you can then import into your document in the final step of this process. I'm going to add it to a new list called intermittent fasting opportunity zone keywords. 
click add and you're done. Now you have over 400 easy to rank for keywords to target. The next and final step is to create your optimized content and this is where we bring it all together. In Content Creator, click New Project, name it, set the location and language if you need to and hit Add. You can set the seed keyword, writer's name, priority, deadline and notes if you're outsourcing your writing or for yourself if that helps you stay organized. And here you can see a toggle that enables you to switch on Google NLP. No, not that NLP. I'm talking about natural language processing. And you need to know about this because it affects your rankings. NLP enables Google to extract meaning from your content. It's based on a knowledge graph with entities and it works like this. If you write about an Apple, NLP enables Google to figure out if you're talking about Apple Records as in the Beatles record label or Apple Inc or Apple the fruit. If your page contains words like Steve Jobs, Tim Cook and iPad, those are classed as entities that exist in Google. Google's knowledge graph about Apple Inc. So having those entities on your page confirms to Google what your page is actually about. Now flip that around. If you're writing about Apple Inc, the tech company, then you need to include those entities that Google already knows and expects to see on your page in order to meet Google's expertise criteria and outrank your competitors. And this is where WriterZen yet again outshines its competitors. If we toggle Google's NLP switch on, WriterZen integrates with Google's NLP API to pull out the required entities for any piece of content you're creating. This is your new dirty secret, your unfair advantage. WriterZen actually tells you the entities you need to include on your page. Inside the content creator, you'll see three steps, the outline builder, the keyword screen and the final step which brings it all together. The outline builder shows you a competitive analysis of the top 20 pages competing for your target keyword. It also shows you the percentage of pages in the top 20 that are articles. This metric alone can help you decide whether you should target a particular keyword. Another handy data is the sentiment. If the majority of the top results have a particular sentiment like neutral, then it's probably best to stick to that same sentiment in your writing. Impressive, I know. On the right hand side of the screen, Writer's End tells you how to structure your content based on the top results from word count to number of headings, paragraphs and images. And this is something very unique. Instead of limiting you to the data, you have a slider here where you can set your own word count and see here in real time the number of competing results you would beat in word length, as well as your recommended headings, paragraphs and images adjusting along with your word count. It's genius powerful and beautiful rolled all into one. Back in the left, you can see the word count for each ranking and use that to decide on your own target word count. So I'm going to use the slider to set my own word count according to the word count of the top result. And just like that, I now have the word length, number of headings, paragraphs and images I need to aim for. There's no guessing. The data guides you every step of the way and it's instant. Let's add a title and description. You can use the search results on the left to get inspiration. Now it's time to quickly build our outline. Click on any result to expand it and see the structure. Note that when you hover over a piece of text, Writer's End highlights it for you. Let's say I like the look of this H2 heading. I can click it and you'll see it just got added to my outline. Moreover, the content remains highlighted so I don't have to keep reading the page and checking if I already added it to my outline. Let's add a few more headings and other text. I can quickly build an outline from things that I already know work. Once I have enough, I can revise each section in my outline builder and drag and drop things around however I please. And once I have my outline, it's time to add some keywords. Click on step two and you'll see the keywords to include divided into three sections. On the right, you'll see that right design already added some keywords that you should target. Start by adding the obvious competitor keywords by clicking on the plus sign. Next to each keyword, you can see the amount of times that keyword appears in the text and also in headings. You'll also see search volumes and the relevance of the keyword to the article you're writing. When you're done, add some easier to rank for keywords to give you a nice balance. Go through the NLP keywords and add the ones that make most sense to your article. And finally, click import from list to import any keyword lists you created in the previous steps. Now hit save and begin writing. In step three, content writing, you can hit full screen to minimize distractions. 
click copy to editor to copy your outline to the document and then click keywords to see the keywords highlight when you type them in your screen. The metrics above let you know when you hit your targets. You can always take a peek at competitors if you need to write from here without having to go back a step. And you can enrich your document by adding relevant questions from people also ask and Reddit. Simply click the copy symbol to copy a question to your document. You can add links and images to your document to improve your score and when you're done, you can hit the plagiarism checker if you want to check your doc is unique enough. WriterZen is the only tool on the market that encapsulates the entire content creation and optimization process from beginning to end and it does it beautifully. By the time you start writing, 80% of the work is actually done. I spent a decade ranking websites for clients. I used five different tools. It wasn't cheap and it wasn't pretty. And I couldn't do half of what I can do with Writer Zen. Now I have one tool with an uninterrupted workflow that enables me to create truly good content that can rank. You'll find the link to Writer Zen in the description below this video. Once you sign up for the tool, you'll see a video onboarding series which covers everything in a lot more depth than I have here. There are onboarding tutorials for beginners as well as seasoned SEOs. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.